Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page www.wingsofarrow.in. Find your dream aviation and aerospace jobs at www.wingsofarrow.in. Now we are going to learn how to find the minimum thickness of the beam walls. Consider a thin wall circular section beam has a diameter of 200 mm and is 2 m long. It is firmly restrained against rotation at each end. A concentrated torque of 30 kN is applied to the beam at its mid-span point. If the maximum shear stress in the beam is limited to 200 newton per millimeter square and the maximum angle of twist to 2 degree, calculate the minimum thickness of the beam walls. Take G is equal to 25,000 newton per millimeter square and T suffix max is equal to 15 kilo newton meter. Here we consider a thin wall circular section beam. Let me write the given data. Diameter of the given beam D is equal to 200 mm. Length of the beam L is equal to 2 m. Applied torque T is equal to 30 kN meter and maximum shear stress tau suffix max is equal to 200 newton per millimeter square and maximum angle of twist theta is equal to 2 degree and shear modulus G is equal to 25,000 newton per millimeter square and maximum torque T suffix max is equal to 15 kN meter. Here the question is what is the minimum thickness of the beam walls? So the maximum shear stress in a beam subjected to torsion will occur at the section where the torque is a maximum and at the point in that section where the thickness is a minimum. Thus we can write T suffix min is equal to capital T suffix max divided by 2 into A into tau suffix max. Now substitute the relevant values and simplify. Thus T suffix minimum is equal to 1.2 mm. If the shear modulus is constant around the section, then the rate of twist in a shear loaded thin wall closed section beam is given by d theta divided by dz is equal to t divided by 4 into a square into g contour integral of ds divided by t in which contour integral of ds divided by t is equal to pi d divided by t suffix minimum. So taking the origin for z at one of the fixed ends and integrating equation number 1 for the half length of the beam, we obtain angle of twist theta is equal to t divided by 4 into a square into g into 200 pi divided by t suffix minimum into z plus c1, where c1 is a constant of integration. At the fixed end where z is equal to 0, theta is equal to 0, so that c1 is equal to 0. Hence, theta is equal to t divided by 4a square into g into 200 pi divided by t suffix min into z. From this we can solve for minimum thickness. The maximum angle of twist occurs at the mid span of the beam where z is equal to 1 meter. Now solving this equation with appropriate values. Thus the minimum allowable thickness that satisfies both conditions is therefore 2.7 millimeter. Did you know at around 6.5 million pounds fully filled the Saturn V required a massive crawler transporter to carry it to the launch pad. Maximum speed is 1 mile per hour. All that power was used to accelerate the giant spacecraft to speeds in excess of 25,000 miles per hour. 
that's about 15 times faster than rifle bullet. The Saturn V was launched 13 times, 12 for Apollo and once to place the Skylab space station in orbit. Not once were any crew or cargo lost during flight. If you have further inquiry or requested video, drop down to our mail wingsofarrow at the rate gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. For the time being, take care, stay blessed, inspired and fly high.